Oh, oh dear. Oh. 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 Oh, sorry guys, just been doing a, a few laps in the back garden. Oh, I hope, hope we're all here. How are we all doing? But, uh, if you could like and share, get us going, get this party started. Um, obviously I've got my dinner ready. But, uh, if you're watching on YouTube, give us a subscribe button. We're going to start in a minute. Got my cup of tea, just come off me, off me practice. Um, hi Jennifer, you okay? Be, uh, before the questions start coming flooding in, I just want to give a big thank you to everybody at Bellevue that's bought pies, who's in the Speedway commu community and bought pies. Um, I really do appreciate it. I can't plug it too much because uh, Mark and Adrian have a go, but... Um, no, it's a, it's a really big thank you to everybody that's um, bought from me. I really appreciate it. You've kept us going. So I just wanted to give a big thank you for that. Um, so, yeah, this is Facebook Live. Please start liking. Can I see some likes? David, are you? Ivan, hi, how's it going? Smash that like button. Grace, hello. Come on, give me some likes. Hillary, give me a share. To Scarlett's put, I've bought some pies. Thank you very much, Scarlett. Really appreciate that. Amy, hello, welcome in. Nigel Moores, I ate all the pies. They're all here for dinner. Can be for you too. Keep on going, liking. Oh, let me see these likes. These likes are coming in hot. To, uh, thank you very much. Uh, Sam saying hello. Thank you very much. Mark is watching. Give us a like, Mark. Come on, let's get these likes and shares up. 100 people watching. Come on. I want to beat uh, Dan, I reckon I can, uh, I might not be able to beat him on track, but let's get some more viewers in. Simon, hello, keep liking and sharing, guys, like, like, like. Um, and we'll start off with these uh, with these questions anytime soon. Um, I'm on my phone, so I can only see a few questions at a time, so if you could bash in them questions, I'm going to start them off soon. Laura, hello, Beth, hello, give me a like. Let's see some love, let's see some love on them, on them live action feed. Can we get any, uh, anyone else? Simon Mills, hello in Whitley Woods. Not too far. Hello, Hillary. She's saying hello. Give us a like, Hillary. Michelle Woodall is watching. Thank you very much for tuning in, Michelle. Ian's having a meat and potato tonight. I've got Bolty here for me, only available in the Man City box. Lynn, hello. Sharon Buckley, hello. Give us a like. Give us a share. Let's get this up. Laura, hiya, Laura. Thanks for tuning in. Hiya, Jean. Hiya, Pauline. Thank you very much. Keep liking, keep sharing. Let's see some more likes up there. Let's see if we can get to, to 200 views. We're at 141. Vince Bowen. I don't know who he's, but he's but busy. Who's he? Who's he? He's at Factory. That's who he is. Uh, Sam, are you not sweating in your suit? I'm not. It's a nice and breathable suit. Actually, if you've ever uh, wondered what a Speedway suit is like, it's like a very, it's a thin leather, leather type Kevlar material. It's very movable because on a Speedway bike, you need, you, need to, you need to have a bit of flex. I reckon I could go on dance floor with this. Uh, mine's made by uh, SF Racewear. Really recommend if you're uh, if you're getting into speedway, speak to SF Race where they make the suits more for uh, the 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 you know I would say the the, the grassroots speedway riders. Um, I went from Milanic to this, and I find it more easily movable. Obviously, it looks sick. We got the Bellevue, we got the cool runnings, we got the uh, friends of Bellevue. You know, not forgetting you guys. Thank you very much. Um, so, come on, let's hit me with some questions. If you're on, sub on YouTube again, please subscribe um, and smash in some questions and I can always DM you them later on. Emily, hello. Let's see if we can get some questions in, guys. Give me them Q&As. What have you always wanted to know? Speedway pies, you tell me. Laura's put, can you please say hello to my daughter, Lucy? It would be make her day. Hello, Lucy. Give me a like. Good day. Are there any opportunities in Speedway to raise a profile when the virus lifts? Um, what, me personally? Yeah, I can definitely do that. Um, 
Amy Lyon. She's asked, who is your idol? So I've got many idols, to be honest. I've got business idols. I've got Speedway idols. My probably Speedway idol ranged between Nicky Pedersen and Ty. Ty got me into Speedway. I was watching Eurosport and I thought, this guy looks cool. I definitely wanted to get involved in that. Nicky, I just love Nicky's hardcore racing, whether you love him or you hate him. He's a mega guy to watch, you know. He might, I felt sorry when he got a few boos in Cardiff. I felt like he's the man. I love his style. His style is so good. Nicky, if you ever watch this, if you can give me some tips, I'd really appreciate it. Um... Christine, which rider inspired you? I've just answered that, Christine. I hope that's okay. Um, how about a box of pies for the best question? I'll tell you what. If I get 500 likes... Oh, I'll tell you what. No, I meant that is it. If I can get 50 shares, then 50 shares, I'll pick one at random for a free pie box. So if I get 50 shares on this, I'll give away a pie box to someone of them 50. All right? How's that for you? Jennifer Spencer, what made you want to start Speedway? Um, good question. I was actually, I actually used to do a bit of motocross. I'd done a bit of mountain biking. I'd done a bit of road racing. And my dad at the time had had a really bad accident on the road bike. And it put me off, it put me off road racing. So I sat over like Christmas watching YouTube and uh, Eurosport. Ty came on um, watched a few rounds of that and thought this looks this looks really good this I've never been into speedway as a young lad started off a grass track many years ago and then went to motocross and I really enjoyed the the, the tight racing and and being that I was getting a bit older I thought oh four laps is better than 20 minutes so uh, I went on eBay bought a bike went down to Scunthorpe Speedway never even had a, a go on a bike went on a race and was hooked ever since so that is how I got into it. Um, I do think Speedway could do more to entice more bikers um, into it um, because it is a, such a great sport. I didn't realise how raw Speedway is um, and I absolutely love it, hence why I still do it. Amy Green, Greenwood, what is your favourite track? <sighs> it's going to be a tough one, this, but definitely my favourite track beyond anything is Bellevue. The the track is just, it's like, it's like going in an, an armchair. Oh, you get in that track, there's so many lines you can choose. You know what I mean? You might find me, I, I'm, I, I, I think, I read first, think later. Because if you notice, I always end up going wide around Bellevue. Not because I choose to, just because I end up there. Um, so, you know, there's lots of room for racing. I don't really like tracks that end up one liney because, you know, it, it, I think all speedway tracks need to work together on how... Bellevue has that really consistent track across the, the inside to the outside. No matter where you go, it very rarely catches you out um, and it makes for some really good racing. Gene, you said you bought a bike to start racing. Oh, sorry, I missed that. I'll see if I can get that. You, you, oh, uh, you said you bought a bike to start racing. Was it off any particular rider? Um, yeah, I got my bike off Nathan Stoneman uh, for a first one. Um, so he sold me his bike. I'd never heard of the guy either. Um, and yeah, he sold me that bike. Um, but now I know Nathan. And uh, yeah, it's uh, obviously the Speedway community. Everyone keeps in touch. So that's great. Uh, let me have a look. Uh, Phil, Philip Martin. Uh, Phil, Phil Lanning just ordered my Boeing Pies. Thank you very much. Really do appreciate that. Quick sneaky one. If you order in Pies and use the Boeing 10. In the discount code, you'll get 10% off. So uh, if you want to do that, come on, let's fire some more questions. I'll see if I can get it on my laptop, sorry, just so I can see a bit more um, on the question side because I'm just struggling on the phone. Um, let's get some more questions in, guys. Uh, let's see if I can scroll back on here without... Uh, sorry about this, guys. Uh, someone's put, where did you do the road racing? Uh, it's one of my favourite with the Speedway second. Um, again, I bought a, a bike off Facebook. Um, I went to Donington Park. I've been to Cadwell Park. Um, I actually won at Donington Park my first time ever there. I really did uh, enjoy the road racing. It's so fast. 
Um, very similar to Speedway in the fact that the speed's there. The good thing with road racing is you've got brakes, there's no fences. So I did enjoy that part. However, as a cost factor, road racing is so expensive towards Speedway. I hear a lot of riders complaining about the cost of Speedway. Um, and yes, it is expensive, um, but as a sport goes, I think it's great value for money as a sport, being that in a lot of other sports, you do have to pay a considerable amount of money. I've done motocross, which again, you know, you very, at my level anyway, I didn't very win any prize money. Um, whereas Speedway, a lot of people get involved, really help you out, and I think it's a, a great sport um, in motorsport as a, as a budget kind of look. Uh, let's see if I can get some more questions. Sorry, I'll just see if I can um, see some more. Sorry about this, guys. Technical issues and all that. Uh, let me have a look. Oh, I can see myself. Uh, oh, sorry about this, guys. Oh. Technical issues ah. and all that. Right, let me have a look. Ah, oh, this might be a bit easier. Uh, sorry about this, guys. Apparently, Bel Haley from Bellevue's just put 25 shares. So, any more than 25, any more than 50 shares, if you share this 50, one of them shares will win a box. Uh, right, let's see if I can get some of these questions up. Susan Hartley, my friend. Susan is working today and wants to know if your bikes are ready and when the Speedway starts and she says she will be ordering oh, sorry i really struck it keeps on going up so fast uh, let me have a look susan hartley my friend susan is working today why does it keep sorry it keeps on moving and um, today i want to know if your bikes are ready if and when the speedway season starts and she says she will be ordering some pies susan my bikes are prepped and primed um, I spent, a, you know, going back to money, I did spend um, quite a bit of money this year. I've got a, a new engine that is an ex Stevie Worrell, and obviously you guys know Stevie is a quick lad around Bellevue, so it's no excuses on the engine side. I also got a nice old in shot, you might see them bit of bling on the front there. Really helps with the bike keeping stable. So quite a bit of money invested. Um, I've gone for Track Plus frames this year as well. I'm very much settled on these frames. Um, so that was, um, you know, something that we went for. I thought it'd be my last year. Being that what's gone on, I might go for a second year um, and really put the effort in and trying to certainly um, up my average and win some races. Uh, Karen Poland, have you always had a big character and in particular prior to your infamous, infamous, infamous TV skin? I've always been very um, outgoing, uh, class clown in school a little bit, but I've always got that sensible side to me. Um, I always try and come across nice and jokey. I believe being a nice person just helps you out throughout life. Um, you never know what you're going to ask somebody. Um, you know, and, and a favour, and especially like this has proven so much. You guys have just been ordering pies, really helping me out, messaging me. Um, and I really do appreciate that. I love speaking to the fans after the uh, Speedway meetings because you guys are so, you know, you're something special. Um, you're always warming and I really do appreciate that. Keep them likes and shares co coming up, guys. Let's see if we can get some more questions coming in. Um, Beth Hoof, opinion on F2 bikes. I've seen this before. Um, never had a go on one. I do fancy it. I do think some technology does need to be coming in with Speedway, as when I look at the bikes, they don't look like they've changed that much to me. Um, you look at any other motorsport and they're very much into development. Uh, I personally think they want to look at maybe making the bikes a bit easier to ride as a, as a novice because they are very unpredictable. Um, so that was, um, you know, something that. Vince Bowen, I don't know who he is, he's put, have you fitted stabilizers to your bike? No, not yet, but if anyone can fit me a pair, I'd appreciate it. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, will you go on first dates again? Um, I would if I was single, but I do have a missus now, so um, I won't be going on that. So if you see me on it, you, <laughs> that's come to an end. Alan, Alan, Steve or Graham, who's the best? So if you don't know, Steve is the, uh, Steve and Graham is a team, team manager. 
Steve's very much a positive person. You know, there's been loads of times where I've crashed and Steve's just been in there reassuring me, picking me up when I'm down. He knew that I, I could do something and he really loves that part. Um, Graham is like the silent assassin. You know, he'll just stay there quiet and then he'll be like, Paul, I need you to do this. Um, so it, very two different styles of team management. Um, really like them both, obviously. They've always been fantastic with me. Um, I've never heard anyone say a bad word about them because, you know, they're, again, just really nice people. So uh, big up to Graham and Steve and uh, obviously Lemo as well. Lemo's um, helped me with my techniques over the time. Uh, Pete Pan, do you build your own bikes? Yes, I do. Um, I strip them and maintain them with my dad at the garage. I'm tempted to do some videos to show you a bit more on that. Um, I've really, I really enjoyed the garage time. It's something that I enjoy is just tinkering. Um, so that's something that I do. I've done an engine service before as well. Uh, one blew up, um, but the other one did quite well. So uh, I could do it myself, but again, you need the specialist tool and that's something um, you know you need to send off for. Speaking of specialist engine tuner, Aschet, I need a Boeing Pine distributor here in Poland. Um, so any Polish people want to buy some pies by the pallet, I'll come and send you through. Um, shout out to Ash as well. He, uh, he was very nice in sorting the engine out. Um, and yeah, if you're into engines, definitely check them out. Uh, Mark, Mis Mark Mis Miserable, sorry. <laughs> Mark Mi sorry, Mark has put, what do you think about Pucker and Holland's pies? Oh, oh, that cut me deep. Um, there's a market for them. I, you know, I'm not here to, to um, slate other pie manufacturers. I will say ours are double the size of these manufacturers. Um, we use a lot of British um, ingredients um, and very much quality. So, you know, it's, you know, you can buy roller cola and you can buy cola. And we are definitely cola. So I hope that helps. Uh Kevin Long has put, have you any plans to change your hair soon? So those that you don't know, I, uh, I wear a wig. I think it's a very good one too. Uh, it doesn't fly off. So yeah, I, uh, you know, I always like to mix my styles up a little bit. And obviously I've got my okay cap on. If you're uh, into clothing, check them out. Keep these likes and shares going, guys. G Murphy, have you ever been to any European tracks either to watch or race? I've only raced motocross abroad. Uh, me and my dad are talking and we was we wanted to go to France this year um, to do a bit of sneaky practice out there. Unfortunately, with the lockdown, that didn't happen. Uh, I've always fancied to go at long track next. Um, so abroad, that's a big thing. I reckon it suit me just because it's, you know, more flat out. Uh, I'd definitely be interested in giving that a go. So watch this space on European tracks. Dale Allett as well. Big shout out. I can see you're watching there. Uh, Amy Lyon, who is your best friend at Bellevue? I don't have one uh, because obviously everyone is really good friends there. My best friend obviously is my dad um, that's at Bellevue. Uh, big shout out to my dad. Um, always helped me out in, in life and speedway. He's always there. Um, so big shout out to me dad. Uh, I know he's watching, so I your dad. Uh, let's have a let's have a go quick look down. Lee Griffin, maybe I need to be a female to get a question answered. Ooh, um, I, I have no particular, you know, boys. Then come on, hit me with your questions, Lee. Or if you've got a question, give me a shout out. Uh, Dale Alley, what would be your dream NL team, National League team? Um, obviously the one we're in now. Uh, I can't think of any better riders. Um, Kyle being, a, a, to be fair, although he's a young lad, so much knowledge for a young lad. He helps me out a lot. Um, his dad as well. They've always helped me up through when there was a training track at Northside. If you're into um, getting into Speedway, definitely re recommend going up to Northside when everything's open. Real tight track, definitely good for learning. Um, so definitely Kyle, like Jordan as well, very, very smooth rider. Um, I like Jack Smith. He was a, a very good smooth rider as well. You know where you are on the track. Um, I like Joe as well because, you know, he's a, he's a rough diamond 
Um, love riding with him. Uh, love the banter in the um, changing rooms. I like Ryan Blacklock as well, going back to when I, I did a stint at Buxton. He was a great guy. And I, I like a laugh, me. I do Speedway for enjoyment um, and good lads. And, uh, yeah, enjoy them guys as well. Uh, Ian Spalding, what's your favourite mo moment in Speedway? Um, my favourite moments are when I stay on the bike. Um, I reckon probably going towards my last match, really, when uh, it was 2018 against Kent, and I think I scored a paid 11. Um, I just Something just clicked that night. There was a good lot of riders there. I felt really strong, hence going into 2019, very positive, but unfortunately, obviously, that got taken away from me. So I'd say definitely that's probably been my favourite um, point, is just having that bit from falling, falling, falling to eventually staying on every single race and uh, making consistent results. Uh, let's have a look, go. <laughs> Richard, do you sleep in those Kevlars? Obviously, um, I like to look in the mirror and just see that Bellevue. Uh, it gets me excited. Mark Lemon is watching. Hello, Lemo. My team manager is there. So Poppy Jones uh, would love you to ride for the Aces. I would abs That would be a dream, wouldn't it, to ride in the Aces? Um, obviously, there's a talent involved in that. I'd love to, to, to be able to ride in there. Personally, I don't think I'm ever going to be ready for that um, as much as I, I would absolutely love it. Uh, and I think I'd be good uh, for the sport in that in that top flight. I just I just I think you've got to be realistic. Um, could I make the, the next level up the championship um, potentially as a reserve? Um, if if the if it was you know more fair, I think I think the gap from national league to championship is too is too much of a, a jump um, from what I've seen. Whereas championship to elite, there's not that much. So if you can make make it in the championship, you you have got potential to make it in the elite. So you know who knows. Uh, sorry. Let's have a look. Uh, Lee Griffin, do you think you will make the Team GP team? No, I don't think that at all. I think there are some fantastic riders out there at the moment. Um, you know, Dan Bewley, Kyle definitely, Leon Jordan. Um, I would definitely, in about five years' time, they are going to be your heavy hitters um, inside that, that, um, that team for sure. Uh... Let me have a look. Do you have a favourite X rider? Ooh, I, I don't really know. Um, because, like I say, I only got involved in 2015-ish. Um, I don't really know the, the greats, um, you know, of it. I would probably say, like, my dad used to go on about Joe Screen. Um, and I follow him on Instagram and he seems like a good lad. So as a pass rider, I'd probably say, um, probably say Joe Screen. Uh, let me have a look. Uh, keep these, uh, keep this going. Uh, let me have a look. Nicole Martin, is your shoulder fully recovered? Unfortunately, my shoulder will never recover. It's as good as it can be. I can ride a bike. I've, I don't know if you've been uh, watching... Um, I go out mountain biking quite regular. I've been out on my motocross bike, obviously, before this happened. I went on press, press and practice, and I felt really good, really strong. So no qualms about the um, the shoulder. So I'm, I'm fully ready for that. Thanks for asking. Uh, Craig Smee has asked, have you ever done a grass track meeting? When I was about six or seven, that's what I first started doing. My dad used to do it um, from a very young age. Um, so the grass track was uh, was something that I did enjoy, um, and uh, I, I probably would like we keep you know looking at doing it again because it is something that uh, that we'd like to uh, get involved in. Uh, let me have a look, see if I can. Uh... Kevin Long has put it's VE Day. How are you celebrating the day? A big shout out as well. Um, I hope you had your two minutes silence today for VE. I feel honoured um, to be doing it on a, such a special day. Um, 
you know, unfortunately there won't be any celebrating. I might just have a sneaky barbecue and a beer and a toast. Uh, is it a toast at two or three? Um, so, uh, yeah, no, uh, I hope you all had your, your two minutes. Uh, thanks very much. Keep these likes and shares coming up. Keep these likes. Let's see some likes. I want to see some love. Um, let me have a look. Pauline Rollins have put, have you ever considered doing a Speedway YouTube diary? It is something I've considered and I still might do. I am tempted to do a couple of videos in the workshop as well um, to go with my sponsors, Putilene, to help them out. Um, it's, it's just the time in editing it. Uh, if anyone's ever done any filming, the filming's easy. It's the actual going home at night, doing it on your camera. Unfortunately, I do work a lot of hours, so it's squeezing that time in. Uh, Andrea's put, hi Paul, I had a chunky steak last night, it was lush, thank you very much Andrea. Craig Smee again has put, do, do you think you're better at making pies or riding Speedway? Um, I'd probably say making pies because I'm a bit more consistent and you can't fall off a pie machine. Uh... Jordi, big shout out to you, you put, do, do you like teacups? I don't, I don't know what that means, but I've got a tea. Oh, funny story. Sorry, where's that? I'll bring this one up. Thanks, Jordy. Funny story for you. Um, I went up to Simon Lawson's track um, with, with Jordy to do some training. And he, he just, um, he put some china or some hardcore uh, fillings around the track. And being that I was always, you know, me myself, I went straight on, on the back wheel, fell off the back of the bike and landed in all this, like, china and cro crockery. And uh, as you can imagine on me bum, it, it, it was a very sore feel, like, feeling. And I was just, I was sat there like, like there's teacups and everything in here. So, um, yeah, that was a, a very strange experience. Uh... Nick, Nick Forbes, but how important do you think it is to have a national league and how could you improve? Uh, I think the I think the National League obviously is very important. Um, I think the whole speedway structure needs to be looked at on progression and what they can do to sort of equal it out because you've got to have like you know your amateur, your semi amateur, your pro, your 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 elite. You've got and it's got to be like a funnel into that. Um, you know, the, you can't just. The way it's going, it's, it's breaking up in the middle. And I think what you'll have is the people that don't get through will quit. And that, that gap between not making it and making it um, will just get bigger. And then there'll be a funny transition period. So I think as, as a sport, they need to work on the, the funneling of going from amateur to, you know, actual, you know, world champion. So if they can do that. Um, I think that'd be something to do. I'd love to get involved with the BSPA uh, with some ideas, but wouldn't we all, eh? Uh, Mark, again, has put, do you think there should be a separate male and female division in motorsport? No, I don't. Um, I think motorsport's one of the only sports where um, you can be male or female and still get involved. Obviously, you've got Katie. Big shout out to Katie, the Bellevue mascot. Um, you know, she's coming through now. I'd love to see some more girls get involved because you might see some girls cycling um, and they are doing very well um, at doing the cycling as well. And I think as a speedway bike, yeah, you need a bit of strength, um, but I don't think you need to be, you know, you don't need to be built. I think a girl could fully, you know, if she goes to the gym, I think she could handle a speedway bike. And I'd love to see some, some girls having a go. They're very agile as well, which you need to be on a speedway bike. Um, so, girls, I think it's a great sport, and I'd love to see a female professional rider, certainly. Uh, let's have a look. Keep going. Charlie Wheatley, hello. Big shout out to your dad as well at NGK. Gavin Jones has put, do you have a secret pie you eat before you race... Um, I actually really struggle um, at eating before any race. I do suffer from nerves, believe it or not, uh, which was a big part of me, mistakes and falling off. Uh, I, I tend to stick to, you might see me, I'll always have some sweets. I love my sweets, so I'll always have a packet of Haribo. Um, I find them really easy to eat. 
um, and they do contain some energy. And being that you're only racing, like the race meetings are approximately, say, two hours over the over the course, I find that really easy. And then after that, um, I'll go and um, I'll, I'll I'll just eat anything. I'll I'll be I'll just be pies, burgers, chips. I'll, I can eat it all. But during up, up to up to a race, I'll I'll never eat. I really do struggle to eat, and it is probably something I need to work on. Um, but uh, pasta as well. Pasta makes you faster. Kyle Bickley's put favorite teammate. Not you, pal. No, um, probably Kyle is one of me me favorites. Uh, big shout out to you, mate, because you've um, you've helped me out from you know from when I had nothing. I didn't when I first got into speedway. I like um, some Wolf Sport kit, some second hand kit. Everything was second hand. I was probably a bit you know. I'd, well, I don't make a lot of money now, but we didn't have a lot of money when we first started. Um, so, you know, I was a bit rough. He, he always helped me out, especially your dad. And um, for a young lad, yeah, you're uh, you're well up there, pal. Uh, Karen Poland has put, what's your favourite pie? Mine is a chunky steak because it's just, you know, it's proper steak. Dead gravy, I, have, I often have them for dinner. Uh uh, sorry, I don't know how you say your name, but Brent, say hello from Denmark. Hello, have we got any foreign listeners? Give me some likes, foreign listeners. Have we got to 50 shirts yet? There could be a free pie for 50 shirts. So if you fancy a chance of winning some pies, get this shirt. Um, if you're watching on YouTube again, click that subscribe. Hayley has got some really good stuff um, coming for you. Um, Gene, again, getting involved. Do you have any pre-race rituals or superstitions? Um, I always tend to do some stretches. I like I like to I like to stretch my forearms out, swing my arms, crack my neck um, a couple of times. Always before I'm about to start, you'll see me just checking my fuel. Um, I don't know why. I just always like to check my own fuel. And um, you know, someone can say I, if I've had a mechanic before, yet yeah, fuel's on, but I still just like to double check it because I did run out of fuel once. Like I did forget to turn it on once, and since then, I always check my fuel. Uh, again, a big thing with riders when they put knee braces on that I were CTI knee braces, big shout out to them. Um, and I always like to put the left one on before the right. I know that's a thing for motocrosses. I don't know why you put one on and if you put the wrong one on, you take it off and put it back on again. So a very, very weird ritual um, for that. Uh, a big thing I like to do, and I think a lot of, I think it should be mandatory in every team, is to get changed in the team changing rooms. I find that builds really good spirits. And uh, I always love to have a good laugh and it just kind of chills me out and gets me ready for the racing. Uh, keep going with your questions. <laughs> Neville has put, have you ever bribed anyone for any pies to, any pies to fix a race? Uh, no, there's no fixing in racing. I want to win. Um, unfortunately, so does everybody else. So I don't think you'd ever, I don't think as good as the me pies are, I don't think you'd ever fix a race with some pies. Uh, Michael has put, when you blow an engine, are they repairable most of the time, or a new or a new one? What's the cost for a rebuild? It's that's like asking how long's a piece of string. If it goes through your cases, um, you you're just looking at a new one. Um, I don't tend to buy new engines um, because they're about roughly they're about five to anywhere between five to seven thousand pounds for an engine. It brand spanking new, depending on what you have in it. Um, that's too much of a cost for my level. I think you can get some good second-hand engines anywhere between a thousand to two thousand pounds. When I blew mine up, it cost me about eight hundred pounds. It was a really good engine, so I did want to rebuild it. Um, you know, your pistons two hundred and fifty. Um, you know, you've got your gaskets, your oil. So it, it does mount up. Obviously, when you know a rider seizes an engine, especially going back to cost. You know, if you are in the national league, chances are you're not probably going to earn a thousand pound over the season so you know if you do have an engine go that's your your, your pocket money gone let me have another look uh what's your favorite track apart from the nss Ooh. again going back to north side i did like that that's a very tight track workington as well because i cracked it off and it was a very nice track i, I went that was my first speedway race i actually went to watch professional race it was great to slip a comics jacket on as well when they were running and um, it was very it was a very fast track and when you get it right the feeling of that is very much like the nss nss so you know it's uh it's it was a very good track so a bit disappointed about that again i used to like buxton um you know it was very it was very hard you know you'd have your bad days your good days um, I really do miss them guys. I hope they come back. Um, 
you know, and uh, get going because that was again, it's uh, it was a speedway great track that one. Uh, have you had a, ever had a pie fight? I've never had a pie fight. Uh, Brandon has put, who do you think will be the next British champion? I'm going to say Dan this year, not to put any pressure on Dan. Um, I think this year he's going to click. I think he's had his injuries, which are far behind him now. Um, I think he's, you know, he's um, investing far more money into his stuff. He's looking more professional. I think he's really getting into it. Um, he's still very hungry for it. So he's not coming. Dan didn't come in too young and get bored. I think he's just getting every leg. He's just getting better and better. So I won't be surprised if you see Dan on the top spot this year. Danny Woodward, big shout out to you. Danny's put, hi Paul, very warm, uh, hope you're well. How do you think you're pairing with Harry is going? Um, I think Harry will be a good one to pair up with. Obviously, I'm starting this year at Reserve. I love Reserve, by the way. Absolutely love it. Nice, easy races, that's what I'm about. Didn't like being at number two, but with Harry, um, I've been out with him at Scunthorpe. Very smooth rider. You know what he's going to do, I would say. Looking forward to getting um, in the mix with him. Um, and I think he'll be a great partner, uh, especially in Heat 2, to get them five ones, which is probably what we'll do. Uh, Brady Kurtz. All right, Brady. Give us a shout out. Uh, Marcus put, what's the most number of times you have fallen off your bike in one meeting? Honestly, I don't want to answer that because I think it's probably five. And if there's four races... That's embarrassing. So uh, probably that. Sam Woolley, hello. Give us a like. Give us a share. Paul Griffiths, do you consider Wright's Pies as a big rival? No. Roller Cola. You don't want it. Muck. Get rid of it. They're, uh, they're, they are a big brand, actually. We actually buy their cheese pasties. Um, so, you know, again, I don't like to slate any other company. Um, it's not for me to do. You know, it's up to the public to decide. All I can do is tell you um, what our pies are like. Brady, Brady Kurtz, I'm a big fan. Mate, I'm a big fan of you. I can't wait to meet you properly this year. Um, and I'm hoping you can give me some tips um, on how to uh, slip an Aces jacket on and uh, win some races. So, uh, big shout out to Brady. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, uh, Nick Thorpe, have you ever sent pies to your sponsors and supporters during the current climates? Actually, um, I'm quite surprised a lot of the sponsors have bought pies. They saw me struggling, they got involved. Um, NGK have, uh, Rent Truck have. Um, so, yeah, no, uh, OK Clothing has as well. Um, so, yeah, no, really big shout out to them guys for buying some pies. Uh Jennifer Spencer, you need to work on your self-belief and, con and uh, uh, concentration, Paul. Yeah, to be fair, I don't, sometimes I don't believe in myself because I don't want to big myself up, you know, and be like, yeah, I'm going to win this race and then you come last. It's like, it is a bit of, um, you know, I, 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 sometimes I, I do struggle with that as a rider, you know, believing that I'm going to win. Um, because I don't like to just put it online and say, oh, I'm going to win, and then you come last, because you're like, all right, idiot, then, don't you? Um, so I do need to believe in myself a little bit more, um, just chill out, and I think I could I could definitely be up there with the lads. Peter Hughes is watching, hello, Peter. Barry Bishop, Box of Bartley Pies required. Barry, Al White, big shout out to him. Um, he's doing some great stuff there. Um, big fan of you, Barry. Uh, if you weren't so far away, I'd definitely consider riding there as well. Uh have a look. Uh, Sam Walker's put uh, Phoebe AJ wants a pie. She also wants a dance with you at the end of season. At the end of season two, um, so yeah, I can definitely sort that out if they come and say hello to me. And um, we can definitely sort something out. I I'm always a big, big, you know, really up for speaking to anybody. Um, if you'd like any, if you, you know, if you ever want anything, um, and you want, or you want to speak to some of the other riders, and you don't feel comfortable with going up to them. Come and speak to me and I will get the lads to come and see you um, and we can do some things, whatever you want. Uh, Bellevue caught up. I'll put, uh, last year you rode at press day and then didn't ride again all season with your shoulder injury. Um, yeah, so I, I obviously I, was, I, I thought I was ready for it and 
and I wasn't. And that was my first go on the bike, and it just wasn't good enough. Um, I was actually sold a bit of a lie with my surgeon. He, you know, I went from one surgeon, I think he messed it up a little bit, went to another surgeon, and now hopefully we are fit and ready. Uh... Matthew Swell, but do you, do you feel threatened by Danny Woodward? Definitely not. Uh, I think he'll probably get banned before he starts racing, but he's a good lad. Uh, he's got heart of gold, so just uh, watch that. Uh, let me have a look here. Bellevue's put 43 shares to go, so if you get to 50 shares, someone's going to win a free pie box, and I'm going to let Haley do that, so if you, if you, want, if you want a free buy, pie box, share this. Paul Gris, but do you enjoy Luma Road considering the Wembley of the North? Weren't a fan of Stoke, I'll be honest. Um, I, I did struggle there a little bit. Um, it was a bit... Um, I, I think, really, it just needed a bit of love. Um, you know, and, you know, Speedway's... You know, anything's expensive. Um, I think it just wanted a bit of a tidy up. Um, and I think it could have been a really good... Because uh, it used to be a good track in its day, I believe. Um, but, you know, you look at the pictures from 20 years ago and look at them now, they're exactly the same. So I did like Stoke, um, but I just never really got on with it. So uh, big shame for them, though. You know, you don't want to see any Speedway track shut. I'd have loved me and my dad were on about, like, you know, oh, I we can buy it and, and turn it into something. But obviously, once it goes to houses, that's it. You're, you're never getting that back again. Uh... Jordy again has put, how do you like your clutch set up? Not by him. Again, he, uh, with this one, he uh, wound my clutch right in. Weren't used to it. Rocked up to working to my first ever race at, at the, in front of the Glasgow fans, I think it was. And I did me a whoom, whoom, and I just dropped the clutch. And I've never been on my arse so quick in my life. Uh, very embarrassing. Uh, and uh, I've learnt from that. So you're not allowed to do me clutch anymore. Uh, let me have a look. Let's keep going these questions. Jan Sherwood, you mentioned road racing earlier. Have you ever done the real road racing? If so, where? Uh, what do you think of it? I've never done actually street racing. I've done um, like what they call circuit racing. I just call it road racing. Um, I did want to do the Alaman TT. Um, but then after I came off a couple of times, I didn't think that were a good idea being as that lamppost don't move. So I didn't fancy that. I'm a big fan of John McGuinness as well. It was lovely that he actually got some pies off me. So big shout out to John if you ever watch. Um, and uh, yeah, I'd definitely like to have a go at it. Maybe when I'm older and a bit more sensible, it could be a good thing to uh, get involved in. Neil Drummond, who's the best rider you've beaten in a race you've won? I'd say actually starting as a junior... Um, I'd only just started off and I beat Tom Bacon um, at Kingsley, never been there before. Um, and Tom had been riding for a few t a few times. And obviously, you know, we were both juniors at the time and I think Tom's just progressed. So, you know, it's nice to say I beat Tom because um, he's been number one quite a few places. Um, again, like when I was a junior, I think I battled with Jack Smith uh, a few times. But, you know, Jack's gone up and, and on to better things. Uh, who else did I beat? Did I beat Anders Rowe? I might be lying about that, I'm just sorry, mate. But yeah, no, I don't think I've beat any, like, superstars, but um, I've definitely been there in the mix. Uh, Sam's put, can you give Dan Bewley some hairstyle options? I'm actually going to shave Dan's head, and you'll probably see that on my head soon. So, uh, if hey, if long hair works, keep it, man, keep it. Uh, let me keep going. Keep them likes and share. If, you, if you're not already, guys, like that stuff, keep sharing. 50 shares will get you a free box of pies, so that might be something to do. Uh, let me have a look. Um, Gene again has put, do you enjoy the travelling involved with Speedway? Uh, it's something I very enjoy, actually. Again, going back to me and my dad, um, we're always in the van and we always have great chat, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm 31 years old now, and just since them age, me and my dad just don't really stop talking. We love the crap, love the banter, uh, we love business, how we can improve things, and we just never really show up. Um, so a, a lot of my memories will be travelling uh, to the track with my dad. Um, uh, you know what I mean? It's just, we've just had some great times. Um, so yeah, some really, really good times traveling and it's always uh, interesting watching my dad with his uh, road rage. Uh, <laughs> it makes me laugh, sorry now. Uh, 
Bellevue, only four more shirts fit that magic 50. I mean, that's going to be gutted here when I have to give away a box of pies. Uh, let me have a look. Uh, 50 shirts. Oh, no, I've got to give away a box of pies. So 50 shirts. Um, I'll let Hayley do a draw because she's got more. She can see that and she can give away the box of pies there. So at the end of this, there's going to be a free box of pies. Um, so you've done that. Uh, let me Let me go down. Keep going. Could you personally deliver to the winner uh, for a photo? It, it depends. If, if you're out of the Northwest, then no. Uh, obviously, being the lockdown, you can't travel. So that's my excuse. Uh, let's keep going. Bellevue, what do you think of a rider who makes his Bellevue debut in, in a title winning Nella playoff? Glory Hunter or what? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, no, so my first go round um, Bellevue was um, actually for the uh, National League uh, title and Steve rung me up. There was quite a few options apparently. I'd only just started back riding again and uh, he rung me up and said, you know, we need someone that's a bit edgy. I think he just wanted someone that would just have a go um, and that's certainly what I did. I think I got second in my first race, got a couple of points in there um, and I did very well. The funny thing was actually, uh, another funny story, I actually forgot my suit. Um, I rocked up, you know, it was like a last minute thing and I forgot my suit, so I had no suit. And if you look at the pictures, you'll see a, I'm wearing Glasgow uh, Kevlar's, which fitted in perfectly for the red and black. Um, Jack Smith luckily had a spur set in his van and I was able to race that night. If I hadn't have had that, I would not have raced. Uh, I am forgetful, believe it or not, and... Uh, it was good that Jack was there to save the day. So if you have a look at the pictures, you will see me in a Glasgow suit, and that is Jack Smith's. Uh... Martin Notts, but what average are you targeting when we finally get going? To be honest, Martin, it's not something I ever think about. I don't think about I want to do this average or that average. I just want to win races. Um, I, you know, you'll see me. I'm in third, second. I'm never happy. I just I like to win. I like that clear track. Um, and so, you know, whatever, you might as well say, oh, I want a 12 point average because I want to win every race. Not realistic, no. I just don't see the point in setting an average target because I just see, I just want to, I just like to race. I like to win um, and whatever average I get, I get. Uh, ooh, never, cap. who's the most miserable rider you know? I don't think there is one. Um, I think a lot of lads can be quiet. Um, and I think that comes with the nervousness of um, and anxiety of riding. Um, you know, it's something that, you know, I mean, as a rider, you get there and you, you can be, and you'll notice even I'll go quiet. Um, so, but I think, I, I don't think I've met a nasty pasty in Speedway. Um, I think they're a great bunch of lads and it's something that I, um, yeah, that's why I like doing it as well for the lads. Uh let me have a look. Does your Speedway van double up as a pie van? No, I've actually got... Uh, we, we use hygiene, like fridge vans for our pie vans, so my, my bike would be a bit cold if it was in that. Uh, let me have a look. Uh, Paul Grissom, who's your favourite team manager? Obviously, that would have to be... Um, Steve and Graham, because they, they have been a ledge... Um, to be fair, I've got a few. Dale Allett as well, big shout out to you. He was always um, dead nice with me. Uh, Jason Pipe, again, love him or hate him. Really nice guy, always been nice to me. Um, so, And obviously Lemo for the like, Aces, although he's never managed um, us as a team, he's always helped me out. He always, you might see he does this because I have a, I have a, 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 a thing that's really tense up, so he's a, he's a good guy for that. Uh, let's keep going with these uh, shares. Um uh, are you a Five Live regular now? No, but I do appreciate Five Live has um, really supported us as a business in this. Um, it was great that a lot of Five Live listeners got involved, so I was dead happy with that. Uh, Peter Winterbank, can you freeze your pies? Yes, you can. You can freeze them. Um, they really bake perfect from frozen. So, you know, they last for like 12 months in your freezer, so stick them in, bang them in the oven, boom, quick tea. Um, can we get some more likes, likes and shares? How many likes and shares can we get? I like to see the love arts. They make me feel special. Uh, let me have a look at some more questions. Uh, 
I mean, let me have a look here. Sorry, I'm just struggling. All right, it's just froze a little bit here. Get some questions coming in, guys, and I'll try and catch them as they come in. Ellen has put, will your vegans pie be for sale at the stadium? That's something that you can have to request. Um, you know, if you if you want that, maybe it can be worth putting in and I can certainly sort that out. Um, so if you want that, maybe put a suggestion in and I'm sure they might be able to do it. Um, <laughs> Bellevue has put, how are the vegan cheese pies doing and do people really buy them? Yes, they do. They actually love them. And even I was surprised how good our vegan cheese pies taste. It does taste like cheese. So um, definitely, um, I would definitely recommend buying one just to see. And I think you'll be shocked. It's like butter. Can't believe it's not butter. Can't believe it's not cheese. Um... Alice didn't see there was an answer has a, a cream egg deal. Um, so my dad bought about 50 cream eggs and he's eaten about 48 of them. Um, so I said I was going to give them away. Uh, let me, sorry, let me have a quick look here. Uh, Susan Harley, has Chase the Ace been helping you make pies recently? He's not. Um, he's on furlough. Uh, at the moment, but definitely I love Chase. We loved our little video. I hope you liked it too. If you didn't see it, maybe check out the YouTube um, channel and uh, have a laugh at that. Um, it was a very good video they did and I certainly had a lot of fun doing it. I love, um, definitely, well, I was hoping to this year, is do a little few comedies with uh, with Chase and, um, you know, on and off the track, we can have a bit of a crack. Uh, graph is... Do you ride grass track or any intentions of doing so? Um, like I said before, I do fancy it. Uh, it's just buying a bike. I think if I buy a bike, um, I'll definitely have a go on it. Uh, me and my dad keep talking about it. So definitely into that grass track scene. Mark again has put, do you keep a scrapbook of your Speedway career? No. Um, I probably should do, really. I don't even, I, again, as a professional side, um, which I should have done ages ago. And if you're getting into Speedway, definitely recommend doing this. When you get to a track, get a folder. You'll see the lads with a folder. How you did that day, what bike setup you had, and uh, how you can improve for next time. I should do that. I don't do that, and it's something I should do. So um, that's that. Uh... Sharon's put, you're such an upbeat guy, but what makes you grumpy? Uh, what makes me grumpy is stuff that comes out of my control. Um, so if, if something happens um, that I can't control, I don't really like, uh, like this, what's happened here. I got very grumpy. Um, you know, uh, lastly, you know, I'm I, I try and keep upbeat because there's no point um, being upset. My dad's always told me that there's, um, you know what I mean, there's always someone worse off than you. And I think, you know, it's always something to be happy about. Uh, if I ever fall off uh, when I'm doing quite well, that, ooh, that, that makes me mad that. You might see me, me toys almost getting ready for out the pram. Um, and I also... Um, if anyone's sort of rude to me, I don't like I don't like rude people. They upset me. You know, what I mean, if you know, it doesn't hurt to say please or thank you. Um, so that's probably one of the things that makes me grumpy. Uh, let me have a look. Tell Sharon she needs more pies. Sharon, you need more pies. Eva, hello from Oregon. I'm guessing that's the USA. So I don't know what time it is there, but hello, how are you doing? Uh, let me have a look. Uh, Anders Rowe is watching. Hi, Anders. Big big fan of yours. Mike's put, I sponsored Matty J when he first comes to the career. That's good. Any Anybody thinking of sponsoring a rider um, that, you know, that you like, it's it's worth getting the DM. A lot of people you might see have a name on the suit. Um, if it's something that, you, you you know, you'd like. A lot of riders, will, it's not doesn't cost as much as you think. So if you've got a favourite rider, um, I personally, you know, you know, I, I recommend it like a junior. Um, it's definitely worth messaging them and be like, hi, I'd love to get involved and message them and it, it'd be something that they can do. Uh, Jeanette's put, thank you for a, a fabulous and funny hour in your company. You're very much welcome. We've probably got five minutes left to question, guys. So if you've got that... Um, Questions, get them in now. I'm sorry I have missed some, so keep banging them in. If I see more than one, I'll answer it. Um, Eva, where are you from? I am from Chorley in Lancashire. Um, so I'm a very northern lad, if you're into that. Uh, Simon's put, come to Pickering GT. Great cam 
camaraderie and racing. I don't know where that is. Um, so, but yeah, I'm always up for somewhere new. Look, look forward to that. Uh, who's the funniest Bellevue rider besides me? Obviously, um, ooh. probably probably Kyle again. He's very he's very he's very subtle. I'm a big fan of Kyle. I don't know if you know this. I've got time for that. I wouldn't be surprised when I quit. You might see Boeing partners on his bike. Uh, Bellevue's put are you worried that Barry Bishop eats chunky steak with baked beans instead of gravy very very worried da from da you don't Gar Barry thank you very much for buying me pies but peas and gravy don't go together uh, beans and pies you need to separate them these to be your beans and your pies and your gravy don't leave separate separate it mate I love you that you buy me pies but beans don't belong with pies together uh Rob Beckerson, who is your least favourite rider? Um, ooh, any rider really that I don't really, I don't, I don't really have, I don't really have a least favourite one. Um, I did have one, but he quit. He was a junior, and he went straight into me. Really upset. I got a brand new bike, and he went straight into me bike. I was so annoyed. Um, but I don't really like to have a, a least favourite rider. The only things that annoy me with riders is like when they spit the dummy out. Um, or get a bit aggressive with other riders. Um, you know, I mean, I have seen it before where there's a bit of argy-bargy. I just don't think there's any need for it in Speedway. Um, you know what I mean? I know there's a bit of passion, and sometimes you do, you do like, Ugh! but I don't, I don't think there's any need to throw your toys out the pram. I might do it one day. You might see my toys being thrown out the pram, but I just think it's a bit silly. Um, so if you're a rider that likes to spit your dummy out, not a big fan of that. Um, I've seen it before. I can't remember who it was at Bellevue that, that like, you know what I mean? He was like trying to fight someone and they're holding him back and you just think, you know, it's you're not going to fight with with Kevlar's on a helmet and boots and a steel shoe. That's not the way. So any, anyone that spits the dummy out, I'm not, I'm not, they're, they're my least favourite, favourite riders. Uh, Neil's put might see you at the Prince of Wales at Weatherspoons. I hope so. I hope to God Cardiff's on I've borrowed it I've booked the apartment there so if you don't come through I'll be gutted obviously Cardiff is a big fan uh, let me have a look uh, best book how did you find uh, experience riding motocross in America absolutely loved it the scenery the weather it's just out of this world I'd love to like obviously live out there but um, I'm just a home bird I could just never do it uh Eva's put, what makes you smile the most? Um, just being, just anything really. Um, jokes. Um, I'm just quite a happy person, so a lot of things make me smile. Um, I like it when I make money. That's probably my uh, my thing to do. I, I love, I love a, you know, if I make money, I, oh, it gets, gets me, I love that. Um, but obviously I don't make a lot of money at the moment. But here we go. Um, has a Speedway helped support your pie business? Tim, the Speedway has been absolutely fantastic in supporting my business. You won't believe how many you guys have ordered. Um, believe it or not, I, you know, I put the post out. We were struggling and we've gone from struggling to, you know, I'm not going to lie. The doors were, were, clo were close to being closed. Um, the Speedway community got behind me. Really appreciate it. There, there was so much liking and sharing going on because what it sells is when someone buys a pie, takes a picture does another pie, um, you know, it, uh, it it really does have an effect. Um, so, yeah, thank you for that. So, last few questions coming in. Uh, Neville's put music choice. Very varied on my music. I'll listen to dance music, R&B, rock, um, you know, pop. I just love it all. Um, I used to listen to Eminem 8 Mile before I, I used to race because I used to think it was like, you had one shot, do you know what I mean? And it get me going, get me pumped. But, um, you know, I, I just listen to a lot of time. I, I, I'm a very varied person. So, yeah, music, everything. Um, Roger, good day from Australia. Thank you very much. Uh, last few questions, guys. Uh, Great put. Do you like brown or red sauce on your pie? Ketchup. I have ketchup on everything. If everyone knows me, I love me ketchup. Um, ooh, let's see what's going uh, let's see, someone I've not answered yet. <laughs> Regarding with the fighting on helmet, just seeing Nicky Pedersen. To be fair, yeah, but Nicky gets away with it. I, I like Nicky. Uh, Pete, it's been great listening. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, 
yeah, so I think I think that's going to be it. Um, any just last question? I want to squeeze one more question in. Um, like Neville's put, what's your best selling pie? Chunky steak. Come on, any any more last sort of questions just before I get just before uh, I uh, tune off? I have seen the winner for the pies, so uh, we're gonna um, we're gonna do we're gonna do that in a few seconds. It is one o'clock. Right, so the pie winner of everything. The pie winner is going to win a box of pies. Craig Smee. Craig, you've won a box of pies. Thanks very much for sharing, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this um, Facebook Live. I'm sorry if I missed any questions. It was quite hard to see them all. Um, I really appreciate it. All the fans for Bellevue. I'm sure Bellevue do as well. Um, if you, if you want, I would recommend that you subscribe to the YouTube channel. You um, like Bellevue on Facebook. Uh, you see anything, you share it. It really keeps Bellevue in touch with everything um, going on. Um, so, And when Bellevue opens again, I hope you will all come down if safe to do so. Um, lots of love, guys. Keep safe. Have a great VE day and a great bank holiday weekend. And I hope to see you trackside, backside soon. Cheers, guys.